you are watching bitbns news hello and good morning right now the market is completely volatile so it is important for users to get to know what actually happening around the crypto world what news is there around so for that make sure you watch crypto news daily and keep yourself updated uk crypto fraud climbs by the third to over 270 million dollar binance ceo warns users to be vigilant singaporean crypto exchange next to close doors after ftx collapse almeda withdrew 20 almeda withdrew 204 million dollar in crypto from ftx us days before exchange collapsed Kraken and consensus back staking platform kill in 17 million dollar round. Nigerian crypto exchange Quadex cuts its workforce by 20%. New York mayor supportive of mining restrictions but maintains crypto hub objective. Billionaire Bill Ackman discusses crypto regulation. Justice Sun joins in on WETH depicting jokes. The Bahamian government slams new FTX CEO for regrettable actions. XRP wipes 800 million dollar from its market cap in a day as buying pressure cools off. Ether drops as Whale moves 73,000 ETH to Binance. Cryptocurrency fraud in UK rose by 32% to 226 million pound in one year, according to the data from the UK Police Unit Action Fraud reported by the Financial Times on Monday. In a Sunday tweet, Zhao, who goes by the name CZ on Twitter, said over 487 million WhatsApp phone numbers are for sale on the dark web. He claimed that the numbers are legit and that users might be prepared for receiving phishing links and scam messages. Bitfront, a cryptocurrency exchange, announced its closure on Monday. The Singapore-based crypto exchange notified users via website notice, highlighting challenges in the nascent crypto industry. Almeda Research reportedly withdrew the most funds from FTX US, the US arm of the FTX days before the crypto exchange filed for bankruptcy. The majority of withdrawn cryptocurrencies were sent to wallets owned by FTX International, suggesting that Almeda may have been operating two bridges between the two entities, crypto intelligence firm Arkham said. Consensus and the venture arm of the crypto exchange Kraken have been backed institutional staking platform Kill in 17.6 million dollar round. Blockdemon and Illuminate Financial led the equity round which closed in October and featured participation from GSR, Lead Block Partners, Sparkle Ventures, Elvin and Blue Yard Capital. As it reels from the effects of what it termed a global economic downturn, the Nigerian digital asset exchange platform Quadex recently said it led off employees who constituted 20% of its workforce. Despite the layoff, Quadex reportedly told its customers it is not going anywhere anytime soon. Mayor of New York City Eric Adams took a supportive if somewhat veiled stance on the partial crypto mining ban imposed in the state a law signed by fellow democrat and new york governor kathy hochel temporarily limits the minting of digital currencies using fossil fuels billionaire bill ackman has warned that the crypto industry needs to self police or at risk being shut down he added that regulators need more resources to police the bad actors in the crypto space and will likely take years to catch up 